What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And this time, we're going to be looking at the Logitech MX Master 3 and seeing if this thing is going to be a good fit for you and your iPad Pro. So let's check it out. Okay, so first off, let me actually introduce you to this device. Now, this has been out for a little while now, but it's hard to get your hands on one of these. This is the Logitech MX Master 3. Now, starting off looking at it, you have an actual gesture button right here on the side in the corner. You just basically press down on that. Very ergonomic fit. Your thumb rests here. You press on that. That's your gesture. Any of these can also be mapped through the application as well. And we'll talk about the application in a little bit. You get a forward and backward button right here. You get a scrolling wheel on this side. You get your wheel control button right here, left and right clicks up here, and this is your wheel. Now, holding this in your hand is very comfortable. It's probably one of the best mice I've ever laid hands on just because of how it's shaped and how it actually fits the curvature, the natural curve of your hand when you lay it on something. Now, we mentioned the app. On your iPad, you cannot download this app and you cannot, I repeat, you cannot customize this mouse on your iPad. You have to either have a Mac or you have to have a Windows PC in order to customize this. There's a specific application that you have to download. I have right here on my screen, this is my uh, Samsung Flex and the application is right here. This is the Logitech app. This will allow you to come in here and customize your point, your scroll, your actual flow where you can go between different devices. I can go from my PC to my Mac and vice versa, but you cannot go back to this iPad. It has to have its own connection. So with that being said, let's actually talk about the pairing. So pairing this device is very simple, very easy. It can connect to up to three different devices and remember these devices. This is your on off switch right here. This is your sensor right here in the middle. And this is your number one, two, and three. They all come on one switch. So basically right now it's hooked up to my PC, which is on that monitor up there. If I press number three, it's gonna come over to my iPad. And now you see that pointer right there. So in order to do this, you basically just come into your Bluetooth setting. And when you're in Bluetooth, you come to whatever number you want and you hold that number down, it will actually start to blink. Since mine is already paired, I have no need to do that, but just make sure that you hold that number down, it will start to blink, and then you're good to go. When you're in this option, and when you're in this screen, if you wanna go out, your gesture button will take you back home. And there we go. Now, if you hold that gesture button down, it actually pulls up your recently used apps and you can just go through here, scroll and pick one. Say you want to open up Safari. So one of the best parts about this actual wheel is it, it's a it's a free flowing mechanism. If you see it, watch my finger. It's going to it's just it's actually still spinning. Now I can show you still spinning by putting my finger on it. See, it stopped. So the wheel is extremely responsive. It's extremely easy to use, and you're gonna be able to just basically scroll up and down on the screen as you need to. Now, looking at a website, when you come, you're just gonna scroll, and there we go. Now, it's still a little wonky, but I can actually deal with this better than some of the other third-party mice that we have. And let's talk about this scrolling wheel right here because i've watched some people's reviews on the ipad and they've just said oh you can use this to scroll sideways now this is true but it's not as fluid as the magic mouse so as you see i'm doing this now it will scroll sideways but you see i'm having to do it a couple of times it's not just a one-time deal it's like one two one two so scrolling on the side mouse is not as effective, uh, but it does work and it will get the job done if you just keep hammering at it. Scroll down, pulls up your search, and then you press your gesture button, takes you back and takes you back home. So this is a great mouse. I, you're gonna pay 99 bucks for this one though. If you can find one, they're always sold out and I just so happened to pick one up uh, on Best Buy's website. So best bet is to try Best Buy. They do have them on Amazon from time to time, but they come in two separate colors, this gray color and it also comes in a black. But it's a great mouse because a lot of people didn't pick up the Magic Keyboard. 
So if you're in the in the ballpark for a good mouse that's going to be really dependable, this is one that you can pick up. Now I know some of you guys are going to say, "Oh, I can get a mouse that's 20 bucks and it does the same thing," which is correct. You can go out and get a 20 buck mouse, you can get a a budget mouse. It's going to do the same thing, it's going to get you the same results. But the thing I like about this mouse is I can take it anytime. Like I don't have to have a specific device. It's connected to three different devices. So no matter which device I'm working on that day, if I'm in my studio, if I'm outside, or if I'm at my real job, I can actually take this mouse and no matter what device I have, I'm going to be able to use it. So it's not like I got to be searching for the iPad or I got to search for my Samsung Flex. Or I got to search for my MacBook. I just pick it up, throw a device in my bag. I'm good to go. So very versatile. Uh, highly usable, has a lot of features, a lot of functions. And remember, if you want to customize this thing, you have to have PC or Mac. It will not customize on your iPad. You can't download the application, so just keep that in mind. So is this a good device for your iPad? I say yes. Great device for your iPad. And then you got to pair it with a keyboard, which I'll be doing a full review on this keyboard in just a little while, but this is by the company Duragod. This keyboard will be out very shortly. I will have a full review coming up on it, but great mechanical keyboard, nice and clicky. We're gonna talk about it in another video, so be sure and stay tuned for that. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I'll drop a link below so you can check this out for yourself. Until next time, check that website out. Be sure to subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.